Hello everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmatov and today I want to show you how to solve this common and frustrating error that Cypress sometimes gives. So you get this error message, it says Cypress detected that you return a promise from a command while also invoking one or more Cy commands in that promise. The command that returned the promise was Cyrap, the command that you invoked inside the promise was Cyrap. And Cypress commands are already promise-like, you don't need to wrap them or return your own promise. And learn more doesn't really help in this case, right? It just repeats the same thing. So very frustrating error and not really well documented. And let me just explain where it's coming from and what to do about it. So this is the test that caused the error. We are wrapping a promise. And usually Cypress just waits for the promise to resolve. It's fine. It can handle promises inside its uh, chain of commands. But this command, Cyrap, is the one causing problems. Oftentimes, this error is caused when you're just trying to print something, right? When you add a Cylog and then, oops, inside Cyrap, you have Cylog. If you remove Cylog, everything is fine. Uh, this result value, 3, will be yielded. And notice that assertion correctly says, yeah, the value is free. But if you have Cypress commands there, then that's what you get. Uh, before I show the problem and how to solve it, let me switch to this test and show a related problem that I think will help in our understanding of the underlying cost. If you have a test and the test is synchronous, everything is easy, right? Now, in the old days of Mocha, and Mocha is the test engine inside Cypress, if you had asynchronous test, right? If you had something like set timeout and then do something else, maybe, um, but then finish the test, right? Well, the way you would say my test is done is by literally accepting a parameter and Mocha would know to pass a function. And if you call this function, then an asynchronous test would be done. Okay. So notice in this case, the test now takes one second because that's how long the timeout is. If you pass two seconds, then our test will run for two seconds. And then we call done and everything is finished. And this is just mock standard behavior. Once ES6 has arrived, now we have promises. So instead of done, you could say return new promise. You get a resolve callback and resolve is just like done. So when you're done, I mean, when you finish, just call resolve. And the test behaves the same way. So Mocha accepts the return from a test that's a promise. And if it's a promise, just wait for it to resolve. What happens if you mix the two? You accept the done. You say, hey, give me the done argument. And you return a promise. And you do something like this. Now you have a problem, right? You invoke done callback and return a promise. Return a promise or invoke a done callback. Not both. Now, is this a Cypress error? No, this is Mocha error. And we can prove this by saying async spec. So if you're trying, let me just remove expect because Mocha doesn't know about chai. If we run just this spec using Mocha without Cypress, we get the same error, right? For async test and hooks, ensure done is called. If we're trying promise, ensure it's resolved. Uh, if we change the order of function, right? Same error. Mocha and Cypress, right, uh, in this situation, are confused. They don't know when to finish the test. They want to finish it when you, this promise that you resolved is resolving, or when you call the done callback, because you specify both ways of finishing the test. Okay, so now let's go back to our original test. As you know, or might have known, uh, Cypress has a, a subject, right, a value that each command in a chain, yields to the next, next command or to the assertion. So all these command, commands are chained so that you can pass a value. So what happens when you are returning a promise? So the current command is Cyrap. You're returning a promise, and whatever is scheduled after the uh, Cyrap is chained already. Right? So now Cyrap is not finished until the promise resolves. But inside this promise, you now have a new command, right? Okay, so Cypress can say, hmm, you probably want to schedule Scilog or whatever commands there are, right? Because there could be several, right? Let's say 100. 
Okay, so those commands will be scheduled to run later after Sarah finishes. At the same time, all of a sudden you resolve with free. So what is the result of Sarah? Is it resolve free? Or should we schedule and wait for this chain to finish? You are now mixing scheduling a value to be resolved using promise and using Cypress commands. So that's what ultimately leads to the confusion and ambiguity in this tax execution. So that's why Cypress, if it can detect it, will actually throw an error saying, hey, you're mixing the two concepts. I don't know which value to take because I don't know what to schedule. Finish the promise and take value or schedule more commands and I take the result. Similar error will happen if we do something else, right? A similar uh, problem uh, will happen if we take, let's say, first value, then we have a callback function, and let's say we should uh, equal one, right? So right now everything is fine. What's uh, if we return something else, let's say two? Well, we just change what the value is yielded, right? So we return a different value. What happens if we uh, wrap to 100? Same confusion happens, right? Because Cypress notices, okay, you are scheduling more commands. That's fine here because you didn't return promise. But then you return two. Okay, so if you return two, then what about this 100? Should we finally finish and yield 100 or yield the two, right? Again, the confusion about what to return. So that's why you should not uh, return to. Instead, by uh, scheduling more commands, you will yield 100. Okay, so let's go back to our original test that right now creates a problem. And let's see what we can do to actually rewrite this. What do we want to do in this case? Well, if we're wrapping some kind of value, let's say free, and then all we want to do is wait for one second, the best thing to express it is by using Cypress commands. So you want a value free? Let's take it. You want to wait one second, right? Use wait. Perfect. No problems. Now you want to print something. Let's say right here. Well, here's a gotcha, right? If you say resolving, all of a sudden you change the subject because log by default yields none. Okay. So it actually changes the subject of the chain. So if you really want print log, you say that then you move the sci log into then. Okay. And notice that in this case, Cypress notices that then callback returned undefined. So you don't want to change your value. You want to take whatever was passed in and yield it down the line. Okay. So this is the explanation for this dreadful Cypress command inside the promise error, right? It's because Cypress is confused about which value you intend to yield to the next command. You can always rewrite things that mix promises and Cypress commands to either return a promise or schedule more Cypress commands.